What is that? Is that snow on the ground? No. Those are wire clippings. Of all the wires that I've been stripping for the last week, working on game enhancements over at the Retro Arcade and Fascination. Well, I'll tell you. As things go in the life of the games engineer, there's never a dull moment. The new system panels that I've been making to control the game are quite sophisticated in the respect that they function after the game is over. Most functions with the Fascination game are during the game operation itself. But in the instance where things have to happen after the game, they have to continue operating and they have to still have power. Well, here's where defects show up. Another 40-year-old defect. Well, I don't know if you really call it a defect, but certainly not the way it's supposed to be done. The Fascination game typically operates in a system that it runs until the game ends. As example, rolling the balls lights the lights. And when the game ends, the lights will go out. And that's the way the game has operated all the years since it was made. Hasn't been a problem. When I first put the game together, I noticed there was an instance had to do with grounding. And at the end of the game, typically the counter control will scan all the machines and in turn ask each machine, did you play that game? And if the answer was yes, then it would count on a meter and it would go to the next machine, did you play that game? And if the answer was no, it would not count on the meter. And this would happen really quickly, but it would happen when the game ends. Well, I noticed that there was a problem with that on this system, that the ground wasn't really present when the game ended. Well, it didn't really matter because I worked around it. So the game counting system has to run before the game is over. Because when the game ends is when there was a ground problem. But now that I put the new circuit panels in or I'm in the process of doing, the defect becomes more serious. As example, by rolling the ball to light a light on different machines, I'm going to turn a couple machines on. All right, we have four tables that are in this game operating by playing by lighting lights. Doesn't matter how many lights they've lit, the red light is on top, which means that they're activated. So if I make this table win, when I hit that last light, the other tables will go out when the bell rings. But let's see. I just won the game, the bell rang, but the lights are still lit on the other tables. How could that be? Reset the game. They all reset normally. Well, the problem goes back to the improper grounding of the game system. This is what happens when you work on systems that other people engineered. If they don't do it right, then later on, you're going to have a problem. In this instance, the way the engineer connected the ground, he connected it to a position that switched. When the winner comes in, the grounding area of that machine is disconnected if the machine loses. Well, that's okay if that's the end of the system and it doesn't make any difference and, and nothing else is going to happen. But if you're creating a system where functions still exist and live on after the game's over, that's a big problem. So when I just installed my new controllers, guess what? They're properly grounded. But they're working on machines 
that are not properly grounded. And that's why you now have this bad effect. So after I put in a series of my new panels, the entire game became inoperative. Can you imagine? And I'm open tomorrow night. So you got to track it down and see what it is. So <clears throat> to give you a further example, here's the difference. We'll light a light once again on different tables. That's three tables so far. There's four. There's five. Six. Seven. And let's lay the eight tables. All right. Eight tables are now in play. Well, in order to make this example, I have repaired the defect in all the tables except these last four, which I did my first demo on. So we have eight tables running, and I'm going to make this first table, which is the one I made win a minute ago, I'm going to make it win. I'm going to watch the eight tables in play, and we'll see the difference. The first four tables are still remaining lit because the ground is improper and the last four tables went out as they're supposed to go. Now once again, I call it a defect in engineering because it's simply not the way you do things. Your ground should be strong. You should be able to rely upon that. Running the system this year, it didn't matter. It ran the old way when the game was over, the game was over, the ground was dead. It didn't make a difference. But when you have circuitry that's going to run beyond the life of the game, the ground has to remain constant. You cannot have a switched ground at any point. It has to be the same throughout the duration. So if you're going to modify other people's equipment, you're always reverse engineering the things that they didn't do right from the beginning. I don't understand how he had an accurate counting system. The count scan had to have happened on his equipment before the game ended. And that would mean maybe all the counts weren't made. Or if the game ended too quick, it didn't count everybody. So for 40 years, they didn't have an accurate game count. This is Engineering 101 that comes from the game engineer here at Fascination. <laughs>